One of the most basic lessons about investment is that past performance is no guarantee of future results. And yet, we have an industry, the fossil fuel industry, which people are investing in precisely because they believe the past is going to be like the future. In the case of climate change, we have to be forward-looking. The budget is running out. We have to make changes now. Um, we can't afford for this to play out and then look back and go, well, we blew that one. You can look at it in terms of the profits of that portfolio that would be eroded if those companies were held accountable for those different types of risk. Well, divestment fits in in the sense that what you're looking for is to kind of free up or shift the way the fossil fuel companies are allocating their excess capital or shareholder capital to more productive means, either dividends towards shareholders or towards looking towards other sources that are renewable and more sustainable to, to invest in. If you're going to divest, what you want to look at is how does that affect your risk budget? What alternatives uh, are you going to look at? And will you be compensated ultimately for the risk that you're taking? So the idea is it's not just divest, but we have to invest. We also have to create the economy in which we're going to shift to, because without that creation, you can't make that shift. We are looking at a great experiment. Um, cities have to experiment uh, with our ability to you know, be sustainable, uh, and uh, we have to make sure that this experiment is one that works, that we actually succeed in, because if we're not able to figure out for cities, uh, we're not going to be able to figure out for the planet. And something's got to give, and if it's not the planet, it's going to be the prices of those stocks. And so we want to take some of that risk out of the portfolio, and we think that there's lots of other investments that can be made. Um, and if you do it in a smart, professional way, um, you know, you can still meet retirement, you can still meet uh, the grant-giving goals of an endowment. Um, it can be done, you just have to have a you know, thoughtful partner um, to help you do that. Bar none, this is the issue that has been talked about in the socially responsible investment community for the last year. It, you know, we need to align our investments with our values. Why would we invest in companies that want to um, ruin the planet, ultimately? This is a problem that's going to require many, many people to take small steps. And if we can't communicate and get that through to decision makers, to the public, then we're not going to succeed. The oil companies are still going to subject us to this tyranny of fossil fuel dependence until we prove that we've got a better way to go. Um, so I think both, you know, to save our democracy, to save our climate, to rebuild our economy on sustainable footing, we've got to do this. Divestment makes financial sense. It's smart. It's also appropriate for people who wonder about the fiduciary duty that people withdraw from industries where the future is going to be different from the past. This movement is, is, is picking up momentum fast. And I think it's a very simple message. You know, we have a, uh, a duty to future generations as to, how, as to what we invest in now. And so let's fulfill that duty.